We're still up on the tripod. Good morning, everybody. Jasper here. But then again, who else would it be? Ha! Welcome to day three of our Bruce Trail 2023 flip-flop attempt. Wow. So yeah, we are now in the Dufferin Highlands section. We finished last night, we finished the Blue Mountain section. Look at the sky this morning. You see the orange? The country road right behind me is the Lavender Hill Cemetery. We camped just across the street in a beautiful little meadow. It was very pretty, very relaxing. Now the weatherman saying continued good weather. Oh, great. Those, the clouds and the kind of color this morning kind of indicate to me that, you know, weather could be approaching. But maybe not, maybe not at all. It doesn't always mean that. Maybe a beautiful little meadow there for camping, but it's posted, no trespassing. Just for a little point of interest, I know a lot of people think, well, uh, Jasper breaks all the rules. Jasper doesn't break any rules. Um, I never camp where it's posted, no trespassing. I never camp on the Bruce Trail. Never, I've never camped on the Bruce Trail. Um, I'm always off trail, but anyhow, oh boy, yeah, so this section looks to be about, about, if I measured it right on the app and I just briefly looked early this morning as I was laying in my bunk deciding to get out of bed at like four o'clock, uh, looks to be about 55, 56 kilometers in length, something like that. And the way our plan is right now, we're about 40 and a half to 41 kilometers to our resupply, laundry bath, everything else, charge our electrical banks at the Primrose uh, campground. <clears throat> so of course we will be there tomorrow. That's fine. And uh, that means we'll be entering the Caledon section sometime Friday. Yeah, probably around midday-ish, all things being equal. Okay, again, good morning, and let's get to it. Right down here, oh, maybe you can hear the sound of running water. And over on this side, even more running water. All we got to do, climb down there, and we're going to filter our 700 mil uh, drinking water or electrolyte water. We'll have ele add electrolytes to it. We'll camel up here. About six and a half kilometers from here is where we hit Black Banks, which is a nice river. So we're good to go. We'll get caught up with water. Ah, one of the drawbacks of losing my one liter bottle, empty bottle yesterday for carrying water was this morning when I left camp I had zero water with me. So that was only 30 minutes ago. So now we'll get our drinking water and we'll carry on. So my 700 mil electrolyte water is filled. I just kind of cameled up on about 400 mil. The product I'm using is called Mio Sport. This two that are of the Mio products that are electrolyte. There's also, I think, one or two that are uh, added vitamins. But anyhow, this one is the orange uh, Mio Sport electrolytes. I'll use either one, orange or the lime. It doesn't matter. Okay, I think I prefer the orange though. Okay, let's get going. Pushing south towards Black Bank, and I think that's, is that County Road 
uh, 21 or 20, I don't know, 25. I don't know. I don't know. But anyhow, something like that. Um, and then south of there, another couple of kilometers, is the Black Banks River. And I'll take a break there. Maybe even make some coffee. Uh, today's plan. Well, I think it's best if I look at it over the next today and tomorrow's plan. So first of all, today we are going to just keep pushing south, um, obviously, uh, towards the Primrose campground. And from where I camped last night, it was about 40 and a half to 41 kilometers that I'd mentioned earlier, which means whatever I do today leaves whatever it is out of the 40 kilometers to do in the morning. An earlier start, getting into the I'm going to call it the community, if you will, of Primrose. Not a whole lot there, but there is a subway, two burger shops and one does breakfast sandwiches, gas station and a motel, and of course the campground. And I have stayed in that motel a couple of times. Um, and it's nice and clean and fine. About $110, $115 or so. Maybe more now, everything's got so expensive. Um, but... I did deliver last week, last Saturday, uh, today being Wednesday, so Saturday gone by, I delivered a resupply box to the Primrose Campground. They agreed to hold it for me. Spoke to them yesterday, as I'd mentioned yesterday. Uh, so I'm guessing tomorrow night I will stay there. It's a lot less expensive um, than the motel. Half the price anyhow um, for a camp spot. It still gives me the opportunity to charge my battery packs, have a shower, do my laundry, shave, all those things. And of course I have my resupply box, so, you know, do all my camp chores, if you will. Um, and carry on Friday morning, heading south. Um, and from there, I think it's about 15 kilometers or so-ish to the beginning of the Caledon Hills section. So that's fine. We'll be entering Caledon Hills Friday. So that's a little bit of the plan um, I know the office tomorrow at the Primrose campground is actually theoretically open from 11 till 3 whilst the kids are out of school oh, sorry, while the kids are still in school it's considered, I guess, low season still during the week um, the lady said there may be somebody here before and somebody here after but I'll be there be between those hours, I guess uh, so I should have lots of time get up in the morning, head to Primrose, stop and have maybe breakfast type sandwiches, uh, and then head to the campground, get my stuff done. And as I say, Friday morning, bright and early, push south. So that is the plan overall. So yeah, again, from camp for about 40 and a half, 41 kilometers to the campground, or to, well, actually, that's to the parking area. It's another two kilometers to the campground. So, if we say 43 kilometers. Uh, the trail, well, looks like we're on an old service logging road, snowmobile trail. And then we keep jumping off, going through the forest and jumping back on this trail again. <laughs> um, overall, everything goes well. I did find one 500 mil of those thin plastic water bottles discarded on the side of the road, but it had no cap, so it wasn't something I could use. But you know what? I'll be able to get a new one tomorrow, because uh, at the gas station, at the very least, we'll have water bottles, bottled water. Anyhow, okay, bugs are out again. And I am wearing my rain pants again. Yeah. Oh. And cobwebs too. It's times like this, you'd love to run into a northbound hiker or a southbound hiker who's faster than me. And then I wouldn't have the cobweb issue. But anyhow, lots of cobwebs today. <laughs> Just continuing a little bit with the updated kind of plan for today and tomorrow. So what that will leave us tomorrow in distance 
depending on what we do today. Let's just say today we do 25 to 30 kilometers. So tomorrow we'll have 10 to 15 kilometers to do to get to camp. So tomorrow will be what we refer to as a Nero. We will be hiking, but we won't be hiking for a full day. Nero means um, essentially near a zero, I guess. And a zero is no hiking miles, but you're on trail. So it might be a rest day in a motel or a camp or a hostel or just camp, whatever. Um, so tomorrow will be our first Nero of this particular hike. So again, it'll be 10 or 15 kilometers, whatever the balance is of the 40 that we don't get done today. I don't plan as of yet on any zeros on this particular hop, this particular hike, not particularly long enough. Although, although there's adequate room for a zero, no doubt about that. Maybe possibly down further south, we'll see. But I don't think so, I'm not planning on it. I'd rather save that money and put that money because when you have a zero, you have two nights at some kind of camp or motel the night you arrive and then the day you take the zero of course that night and then you leave the next morning i do have a overnight planned motel planned at the cedar springs motel which i've stopped at many times in fact always on this particular hike because again it's a bath resupply if i need it in georgetown which i actually won't i don't think because I'm not going through the supplies as quick as I thought I would be and then I've got a brief supply box that's kind of got a bit too much in it too waiting for me tomorrow so anyhow so yeah that just kind of explains a little bit about what a Nero and a Zero might be for those that wonder about those things and what that means for us so tomorrow will be our first Nero all things being equal. Okay, now we keep pushing ahead. Take a look at this absolutely beautiful morning meadow. The trail behind me we just came out of that forest right there and it just opened up into a gorgeous meadow surrounded by trees, hills in the distance, the escarpment itself and the road. I've just seen cars going down the road. I think that's the I'm going to call it County Road 21 of Mulmer, but I can't recall if it's 21 or 25. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. The road is there. I know where it is. There's a small parking area up here on the opposite side of the road. And we enter back into the forest there and push towards the river of Black Bank. Uh, and that's where we're going to take a break, of course. And I think I will make a coffee there, just because I have time today. And we'll have lots of water there, so I might as well. But I just wanted to share just this beautiful, beautiful meadow this morning. Whew, am I blessed or what? I think so. Again, gorgeous weather. Oh. Okay, so it is Dufferin Road 21. See the emblem? The Bruce Trail emblem carved into the wood, routed. 
just for a point of interest, that's the same emblem as used on the Appalachian Trail. There's a reason for that. We'll talk about that maybe later. Okay, let's just keep going. This road was quite busy as I approached it, so we better mind our P's and Q's. Dufferin Highland, Bruce Trail Club, Black Bank Creek Ridge. Wow. It's about 11 o'clock, 11.05, I checked just a little while up the trail. A little over 16 kilometers in for the day so far. We had a beautiful river. Stream, creek. Soaked my feet. Blue blaze up there and it says Melodona side trail, which goes that way. It came from behind me. And the white blazer goes this way to the left. So that is what we're doing. Having a cereal pouch. Just filtered some nice water. Mm. Nice and cold. The warm one today, warm has been so far. And the warmer, I'd say it's about 80 degrees already at 11 a.m. Fahrenheit. So. But the day goes well. It is beautiful here. Man. 
just gorgeous out here today. Oh well. I'm going to finish my cereal pouch and then carry on. Bibblemon, Bibble Mum track, Bruce Trail Friendship Trail. This one is in Australia. Oh boy. Well, I just finished filtering one liter of camp water and 700 ml of electrolyte water. And then I walked down, and I remember this place. In fact, I camped just up the trail from here. But there's a great little spot right there with a bench to call home for the night. Now, from here, in the morning when I wake up, I would have 14.2 kilometers to Primrose, to the parking area, then another couple of kilometers to the camp. Um, and as I say, I have camp water, or I have one liter of actual camp water, but the, the little creek is just behind me, just a trickle of a stream, but fine uh, so I could get lots of camp water there if I camped here um, however what I'm thinking is and this is kind of unfortunate that we don't have this on the Bruce Trail app I've mentioned it before on gut hooks a far out app formerly gut hooks it would tell me where the water is possibly definitely maybe kind of um, classifications of water plus other hikers communicate and post yes there's water here no there isn't but what I do look for in the Bruce Trail app are blue lines blue lines represent possibly water I think the bigger and the thicker the blue line the more chance I'm gonna get of water like right ahead of me here is a little bridge over just a, another little stream but you know what I have no problems filtering, wa filtering water out of there. None whatsoever. Um, anyhow, so I think though, I'm going to keep going for a while more. Again, in about, I don't know, a little over four kilometers, 4.2 kilometers. There's what looks like a, a river or a bigger blue line. Don't know if there is, but if I was to get more water there, look, camping all through here, under those trees, nice little spot out of the way. Anyhow, if I did get water there, that would give me 10 kilometers to go in the morning to Primrose, which is fine. Either way, it doesn't matter. We'll see what the terrain's like, and you know what? We'll camp where we think it's a good spot. I have camped just up here before on the left in a terrible thunderstorm. <laughs> okay, let's go. Excellent water source. I think we'll filter here a little bit more and then, and then we'll grab 
um, the next available camp spot. We'll call it a day. I think that is going to be the plan. This is a really nice little spot to get water from. I found myself perfect little bench. Got my supper set up there. I'm having my coffee. I'm having some goldfish. I'm having a vegetable ramen noodle with bacon and three cheese instant potato. Beautiful little stream. Just gorgeous. I got all the water I could possibly want after a hot, sweaty day. And my Durst, Durston X Mid 1 tent. All set up for the night. Whew. 28. What was it? 28 point. I'm going to say 28.5. Um, I think it was 28.5 kilometers today. I think that's what it was. I just calculated it. But anyhow, I got 12.1 to do in the morning to the parking area where I jump off the trail and head the two kilometers into Primrose. City food, nice breakfast sandwich, um, shower, shave, laundry, recharge batteries, um, pick up my resupply box. I already know. I think I have too much stuff been hot and I try to eat more but sometimes it's a little difficult when it's so hot but I know I have to keep up my energy and keep and I, you're burning fuel every day as I say today was 28.5 kilometers good solid day uh, with a, a trail weight pack and I don't know probably 85 degrees Fahrenheit hot day anyhow and buggy to boot. That's why I got long sleeves, buff on my head, rain pants on. It's bugs. I'm out of bug spray now, so. But again, we'll be able to resupply that in the morning. Wow, day three comes to an end. So tomorrow when I do the uh, 12 kilometers into town, we will have done 108 kilometers of the, I don't know, I'm gonna say 460 kilometer total. So far, so good. It was really interesting today, wasn't it? Meeting Matt, oh, a northbound through hiker. First one I've seen, first through hiker. I've seen one section hiker and one through hiker now, so far. So that's good. There's more people out here, section hiking and through hiking this trail now, and, and, and I'm delighted about that. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna sign off because my battery's almost dead. I gotta charge this battery. Um, and I will talk to you, oh, I thought that was some wildlife over there, but it wasn't. Um, and I will talk to you bright and early in the morning. We're going to set up a wake up for 4 a.m. Talk to you in the morning. Good night, everybody.